part one. Final Fantasy XIII part two. Normal mode. That time was lost, yet time continued onward. Divine Etro, go peacefully to your rest. I will stand guard over your legacy. with sadness. Life and death lose all meaning under the rolling waves of chaos. Valhalla. The currents of time do not touch its shores. In this world of lost moments, I begin my life anew. This eternity, it was never your desire. Is that not so, you? Enough. 
Let's end this. What? The glow. Cast your shadow over all. Wings of night!
The goddess made a wise choice. Powers of chaos bend to my will! So you want to destroy everything. Oblivion is the fate of all things. Now it's my turn. for a miracle, and that brought you here. Or am I wrong? How did you know? From Valhalla, I can see everything. But who are you? Lightning. Get worse. He's holding back. He's testing us.
How do we fight him? This is not your battle. There's something else I need you to do. What? Bring my sister to me. Her name is Sarah. Okay. You'll need to use the portal. Your time-gazing friend should have told you how it works. That's a gate? But why me? Because you're the only one who can. You crossed the void and made it to Valhalla. You can find Sarah. And together, you can change the future. Wait. I can change the future? Yes. Got it. I'll track her down. What's happening? Enjoying your little chat. Time flows without pause. In a world where I no longer exist, the future is about to change. Truth still survives, but only you remember it.
Hey, Sarah. Are you okay? Yeah. Mackie. Yeah. Gotta go. Okay. All right, everyone, listen up. The meteorite hit over there. Right. We're gonna check it out. Team Yuge, ready to roll. Well, and careful. That area's crawling with monsters. So stay close. Come on. Okay. Right. You heard him. Move out. With you. You're okay. She took a hit, but she's gonna be fine. She just needs some rest. Thank goodness. And thank you. Uh, whoever you are. No. No, Christ. Okay. And before I forget, it wasn't just me. You should probably thank this little guy, too. supposed to be your lucky charm. Your sister gave him to me. Wait, you know Lightning? Mm hmm She's the one who told me to come here. Where? Where did you see her? Was it Valhalla? Yeah, how'd you guess? I saw it in a dream. I saw my sister. She gave you the Moogle. Then the meteorite came. And dragged me along with it, I guess. Do you mean you actually rode here on that meteorite? Maybe. I don't know. Damned if I can remember. Why don't we go and check it out? Okay. Kupu? <laughs> now I know for sure. Lightning is alive. She's in a place called Valhalla. I'd only just met Noel, but I believed him. I believed every word he said. Even though it couldn't possibly be true. It seems like only yesterday. The smile on Lightning's face when she gave her blessing for Snow and me to get married. But I'm the only one who ever remembered that. No one believes. It's just a dream, they say, from when I slept in the crystal. An illusion. They say my sister is gone. That three years ago she sacrificed herself to stop the fall of Cocoon. She turned into the crystal pillar that holds Cocoon above the surface of Pulse, and saved both worlds. That's what they say. But even so... No? Is that all you're going to tell me? Your name? What? But who are you? What do you do? I'm a hunter. I feel like an interrogator. Do you mind me asking? Shoot. <clears throat>
Wow. Huh? What's up, no? Uh -huh. I, I just didn't think it would be that beautiful. What do you mean by in the legend? The legend about Cocoon and how it was held up in the sky by a crystal pillar. How oh, we all knew that story. Seems funny to call it a legend. It's only been three years. out of ammo. Stay safe. Good for anything? Huh? What's going on here? Am I dreaming? I see it too. Pretty sure it's no dream. Ha! <laughs> 
This is the famous Noel, huh? Yep. I guess news travels fast. The bro told me how you helped her out. I'm huge. Nice to meet you. Hey, likewise. What's with the new style and threads, Sarah? Not exactly a dress up and hit the town kind of occasion. <laughs> you want to try them on? They might look better on you. <laughs> I don't think so. Wouldn't want to show you up or anything. Okay, I better get going. See you guys later. Bye. More of them. Maybe it's an illusion. Like some sort of mirage showing scenery in the distance. What's going on inside that, that rock? We made it. Wait up. It's not there. 
Well, you're looking at a different time. That's the world I come from. In my world, Cocoon doesn't exist. When I was born, the sky was already empty. Tell me, how many years has it been since Ragnarok appeared and Cocoon fell? Well, it's 3 AF, so that was three years ago. For me, all that happened 700 years in the past. I was born and raised in another time, 700 years in the future. Yes, I knew it. I knew you weren't from this world. I'm the last of humanity. Hey! <sighs> Sarah, I can take you there. We can find lightning together. I know she wants to see you. You're full of it! Yeah, that's impossible. Lightning's gone, man. Godot. Noel, do you know where my sister is? Come with me. Time gate. What do you mean? Wow. Time gate. What the? It's like a portal. Lightning is in a place oh. called Valhalla. She's waiting on the other side. Oh. I couldn't turn my eyes away. I knew the answer lay beyond that gate. The answer to my doubts and dreams. On the broad plain beneath Cocoon, my sister once celebrated my marriage to Snow. I remember her smile like it was yesterday. Sometime, when I wasn't looking, she disappeared. She was gone as if she'd never been there in the first place. Lightning, are you out there? Did I dream that day on Pulse, or did it really happen? Noel says he can find you, but is he telling the truth? Noel's world was a terrible place where Cocoon did not exist. He had traveled back in time to change that bleak future. Or so he told us. Listen, when different eras overlap, all kinds of crazy stuff happens. Objects from different times get mixed up. If you want to open a gate and travel through time, you have to find one of those objects. They're called artifacts. Uh, artifacts? The keys to the future. Hmm. They're anachronisms, relics of a different world. Basically, things that don't belong in your time. If we can find one, we might be able to use it to open the gate. Then we could cross time and travel to Lightning's world. <sighs> could Noel be telling the truth? Beyond that gate, in a place called Valhalla, is Lightning alive and waiting for me? Can I dare to hope again, after all this time? Oh, how I want to believe. I want my sister back. So much happened the night the meteorite fell. We all had a lot to think about. I wonder if anyone slept. <clears throat> Good morning. Safe near that.
Snow's everywhere. If only Snow were here. So, you're just taking him at his word? He's... I guess you're right. It's just hard after I had that dream about lightning. You know what I mean? Noel doesn't seem to be a bad guy. Still. Let's meet outside once you... Morning. Good morning to you. You slept okay then? Your new friend talked a lot about lightning. I kind of figured you'd be tossing and turning all night. I don't think my sister would want me moping around. Sarah, wait up for me. All this talk about artifacts and gates and time travel, to be honest, I don't know if I'm ready to believe it. Sarah, there's still so much I don't understand myself. If we can actually find an artifact, then I'll know what I've been saying is true. And once we open the gate, you'll be able to put some of your doubts to rest as well. So what do you think? Will you search for the answers with me? Give me a chance, and I'll prove that it's true. Koopa Koopa! It looks like Mog has found something. Let's check it out. What? Is that the artifact? This is Lightning's knife. I keep it in my room, but how did it get out here? There. <laughs> Snow! <Sarah! laughs> Daddy! Come on. Okay. <laughs> it's her knife. I found it near the base of the pillar. Sorry. She must be inside the pillar. Lightning's holding up Cocoon. Along with the Neil and Frank. Wait, what are you talking about? She was right here a second ago. I saw her. He talked. She gave us her blessing. Snow and I were getting married. She laughed and said congrats. But then, all of a sudden, lightning disappeared. She was gone, like she was never there to begin with. No one else remembered her smiling and laughing. No one but me. All your friends think your sister is inside that pillar. I was scared. People said I was dreaming. They said... They said I was just making up stories so that I didn't have to face the truth. Listen, Sarah. Your memories are the truth. Lightning is alive. The question is, why are you the only one who remembers? Well... 
Perhaps history changed somehow. You mean your memories are true, but history was altered afterwards? Of course, that's not really possible. I know that. But I just don't understand how I can remember it so clearly when no one else can. Weird. The knife looks like it's been polished. Maybe someone was cleaning it out here and then forgot about it. I don't think this is our artifact. Look, I think Mog has found something. But that's just a cat. Oh, and it's with the one we keep at Nora House. I heard a rumor about Cocoon disappearing. What should I tell Lily? town for a few days and this is what I come back to is it true that Mackie shop might be going out of business snow so this is where you got to and the artifact isn't here huh snow Cooper? oh yeah She's my pet. Kupu? Huge found her and brought her home. Hey, I don't see why not. I think we should keep her too. Uh, just as long as she doesn't make a mess in my workshop. <laughs> yeah. Hey, girl. Are you sure you can look after her? Can't we all do it? I mean, we are mm. one big family, right? Yeah, right. Mac, you'll do it. You Whoa. too. Oh. <laughs> Thanks. She's adorable. Uh, she really does have a face. I thought I could hide it from them, but they knew. They saw right through me. I'd lost lightning, and then snow. But those guys, they really tried to cheer me up. Oh. Oh. <laughs> so it hasn't been all bad. No, not at all. Life is harder here compared to back on Cocoon. But everyone sticks together. Even in the tough times, we have each other. That helps. Those friends of yours are like family, aren't they? Yeah. As lonely as can be, even with all these friends around me. You and Snow want the same thing. I'm sure you'll find each other again. We're way off track. Where else should we look? Mug, help us out here. Seems like you'd be soft on kids, but you're pretty strict, huh? Hey, you're not that bad. Come on. You know, I'm only strict because my teacher was strict. Hmm. Lightning must have rubbed off on me. Uh, my grandmother was a teacher too. She taught me everything I know. She taught me about Grand Pulse and its history. What was your grandmother like? 
I was always her favorite. She kind of spoiled me. She lived until she was 50, so she had a lot to teach me. 50? But she was still so young. Lifespans were longer during this age. If my grandmother were still alive, I could have learned so much more. I could have... I could have handled things better. That's the kid I was looking for! I knew my eyes weren't playing tricks on me! It's Mackie! I better get out of here! Hey, what's he got there? Let's follow him. Where are you going? Why do I have to fix this? <laughs> what are you running from? Watch it. Don't go that way. <laughs> The thing they extracted from the meteorite was a cave? <laughs> They're investigating that thing from inside the meteorite. I won't get mad if you tell me. I know you say you won't get mad at me, but I can't tell you. I don't want to get yelled at. The kid was trying to get away from Mackie. I bet you anything he was up to no good. I hope you're not misbehaving. It makes me sad when my students don't behave. I'm sorry, Miss Farron. Guess I'll own up. The truth is, I sold something from Mackie. And that's why he was chasing you? What did you take? This necklace. It belongs to you, doesn't it? Hey, wait! What was he doing with this anyway? 
That belongs to Mackie, doesn't it? No, it's mine. It's a reminder of a promise a good friend made me. Sarah, I believe you. Your sister's alive. She's out there somewhere. Thank you, Snow. Here, you hang on to this for a while. When I come back, it'll be with lightning. Then there's no way she can say no to us getting married. Okay. Okay. And that was the last time I saw snow. The memories I had of lightning standing on the plain beneath Cocoon. He was the only one who believed. Believed them enough to do something. And doing nothing, right? Lightning and snow are long gone, but you still sit here and wait. Why didn't you go after them? I have faith in snow. He is a hero after all. And has that faith been enough? Neither of you want to be apart, yet here you are alone. Don't you think I know that? <sighs> Sorry, I shouldn't have said that. But you tell me, what good is a hero if he's never around? It was a perfect day to ride some waves! It wasn't the artifact after all. Are you losing your touch, Mom? <laughs> It's not his fault. Come on, let's head back. I got a question for you. Who's this snow person? A boyfriend? He's my fiance. He's off trying to find lightning for me. You mean he's trying to get to Valhalla? Well, no. I told everyone there was something strange about lightning just disappearing. And only snow believed me. Ah, I see. That's the kind of guy that everyone looks up to, huh? yet, huh? No, instead, my things are showing up in places they shouldn't be. I wonder if someone's trying to mess with us. I doubt it. No one here would do something like that. Hmm. I guess not. Unless they think they're doing the right thing. It might not be a person at all. I mean, with time and space being warped everywhere, anything could happen, really. Right. And that's how your things ended up out here? It's not a bad theory. Okay, so maybe we should ask if anyone else is missing stuff. Let's head to the house and find out. You know, I 
who's thinking? If Noel here really is from the future... That's true. We should probably explain a few things. I'm all ears. We were all born and raised on Cocoon. But three years ago, our home basically fell out of the sky. We couldn't rely on the Broken Fowl Sea anymore. So, most of us made the decision to move to Pulse. Weren't there millions of people living on Cocoon? It must have been pretty cramped. Well, it was. But on Pulse, we had to deal with new hardships, like vicious monsters and a lack of provisions. Sounds like a rough time. Yeah, but eventually things settled down, and some former military types helped get things organized. Now there's a growing town at the base of Cocoon's Pillar. The guys who used to be in charge are long gone. How did you end up in this place, then? Our leader, Snow, suggested we live somewhere near the ocean. We used to live in a seaside town on Cocoon, so it was like we were rebuilding our home. Snow and the rest of us were used to fighting monsters and getting our hands dirty. So we pretty much settled back into our old way of life. Snow's not around right now, so we... So for everyone here, your sister being gone is the reality. Odd. It was never there before. Hey, check it out. Wait. Okay, what is that? How how did that happen? It's a twist in time. Something that doesn't belong. Yeah. I think. This is an artifact. We found an artifact. Just as Noel said we would. Does this mean everything else he said is true? Did he really meet lightning in Valhalla? Maybe. Once I step through the gate, I'll be leaving my friends, my students, and the village for who knows how long. Can you tell me, lightning? Do I dare believe this man? Okay, now we just have to head for the gate. I don't get it. What was that artifact doing in the mirror? Well, the mirror must have belonged to someone else in the past. Or the future. I'm going to take this artifact and open that gate. But you still don't trust me, do you? I can see it in your eyes. If there's anything you're wondering about or don't believe, just ask. And I'll try to explain. Well, there is one thing. What is it you want, exactly? A future that has people in it. I lived at the end of days. I was the very last child to be born. As I grew up, everyone I knew died, one by one, until eventually it was just me. All their dreams fell on my shoulders. I was their last hope. It was too much, so I left. Sure, maybe I couldn't go home again. Maybe I couldn't make everyone happy. But at the very least, I could rebuild a future where everyone could survive. So I went through the gate wasn't thinking very clearly then. I had a dream, but I didn't think it all out. I didn't know what it really meant. But once I got here and saw how you and your friends live in this village, I knew my dream could come true. In Valhalla, your sister gave me a chance. She gave me hope. The future can be changed. That's what she told me, and I believe her. I understand. Thank you, Noel. Thank you for telling me that. You want to take a moment to say goodbye before we leave? Thanks. I think I'm okay. Does that Noel guy want to join Nora? If you're heading to the gate, try the shortcut along the shore. You can use the mountain path too, now that it's not blocked off. <laughs>
The gate is where the meteorite fell. So we should head towards Cocoon, right? You know, it must be strange to have it there always watching over. Still monsters around. Keep a lookout. Careful too, no. If you're heading to the gate, take this shortcut. Godot said you were free to come and go as you...
Eyes peeled. Are you sure you're ready? You know, once we go through, there might be no coming back. Yes, I'm ready to go. It's not a dream or a lie. I know my sister is alive out there. I'm sorry I doubted you. Of all people, I should know how bad it can make you feel when no one believes what you say. Snow put all his trust in me. Now it's my turn to do the same for you. I've made up my mind. You and I. We go together. I won't let you down. We'll find Valhalla, I promise. So, you're not gonna say goodbye? There's no need. We already have, sort of. Lightning's knife. It's been sharpened and cleaned. Oh, you did hey, that. Hey, shut up. Look, my pendant has a brand new chain. Mm. <laughs> Shh. I'm okay. And Snow was purring like a kitten. <laughs> Someone gave him a good brushing. <laughs> <laughs> the quiet. Oh, hey. <laughs> Why don't you guys go fess up? Uh, what? Go on. Uh, uh, you too. Hey, Sarah. Uh, I figured no way you're leaving the pendant behind. So I made a chain, you know, so you wouldn't lose it. If Lightning is alive out there, wouldn't want her getting mad over a poorly maintained <laughs> weapon. You know her. <laughs> If you leave, someone's got to pick up the slack looking after Snow, so I volunteered myself. <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> it's time for me to go. I don't know what's waiting out there, in the future, between worlds, but I want to see lightning so much. If there's any chance, any chance at all, I want to take it. You can go, but you have to come back in one piece. Promise? I promise. If I believe, maybe a miracle will happen. The future won't change until you make the first step. You know what you're doing, right? Well, I can't say that I do. This is the first time I've opened a gate myself. Guess we'll just have to find out. Hey! What about Sarah? I'll protect her. I promise you. I vow never to let her come to harm. To do. But trust me, for Sarah's sake. like the future starts now. I'll be 
future you could not see. I will keep fighting here, at the end of the world. I know you will come. I believe in you. Sarah. <gasps> this place is incredible. It's the Historia Crux. The crossroads of the time continuum. So this is how you were able to travel backwards from the future? Right. Just floated through this nowhere space. And now it's your turn. Rejecting the easy path, humanity has chosen to build a society based on human technology rather than relying on the Falci. A provisional government has replaced the Sanctum, and a scientific organization calling itself the Academy searches ruins for ancient technological secrets. One such site is on the shores of Lake Brescia, where a giant war weapon has been unearthed. for the future, we sometimes fall into the past as we gaze upon events that cannot be changed. Our hearts grow bitter with regret. And you, my dear Sarah, will you encounter your past here? How will you choose to deal with that pain? Sure. Yeah, check it out. You can see the ground above us. Oh. Wow. So this is how Cocoon looks from the inside. That's right, I forgot. This is your first time here. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> 
okay? Yeah. Exciting. Guess it's over. Huh? <coughs> it's the army. Cook <laughs> off. Friends of yours? Sanctioned activation of Atlas. Come with me, and no funny business. We're being treated like criminals, but it's just a misunderstanding. Stick to the truth, and we'll be okay. And smile. Smiling. We're going straight to Academy HQ. Don't drag the truth out now. One question. What's the Academy? Uh, the Academy is the Institute that's investigating the crew. Who doesn't know that? Hmm? You two came up on the... Hmm? The Grand what? He could be talking about the elevator that's supposed to connect Cocoon and Pulse. It's going to be finished next year. You're confused, miss. It was done last year. Uh, uh, last year? Did we move forward in time? <laughs> I'd say two years have passed, had a guess. Since what was scheduled for next year has already been built last year. Huh? Is that you? <laughs> hey, watch yourself. Thanks. Oh, Sarah, it is you. You know them? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Alyssa Seidel. I'm an Academy intern. I heard you apprehended our two observers, so here I am. Observer? Yes, they're invited guests to the Academy. I was showing them around and they forgot to give them their communicators. Let's back up a second. Are there these guys and these observers are VIPs? Uh, 
I hope we can forget about this little mix-up. Strange world, stranger events, unfamiliar faces, an uncertain future. They speak of anomalies, of a strange energy that warps time itself. Things that shouldn't exist here are appearing near the gates. Things that shouldn't happen are happening. They call this phenomenon the paradox effect. And if you think about it, that term could apply to our existence in this age as well. Lightning. How will I find you when I don't even know when or where I'll end up next? Rain. Oh. I'll supply you both with comm devices. Right this way, please. Um, thank you for your help. I was just wondering, mm -hmm. have we met before? Oh, no. Sorry about all that observer nonsense back there. Lucky for us, that soldier was so quick to believe me. Are you sure it's okay to lie like that? Oh, don't stress about it. That guy's a pushover. Anyway, it is true that you two are important guests. <laughs> right this way, please. You'll need an ID to travel any further into the ruins. Here, take this communicator, and keep it with you at all times. So I'm curious. Yeah? Just why are you helping us anyway? I saw you two. I saw how you got here through that thing. What? You mean through the gate? Yes, it is a kind of gate. It links to another world, doesn't it? Oh, oh. Nice to finally have some clue what these things are for. So basically, helping us out was almost like part of your research. But you still have questions. I do have questions, yes. About the gate, and about the paradox. Yeah. But with Atlas throwing his weight around, the ruins will be closed off and there goes the chance to get your answers. No. Go, oh, oh, oh. No problem. Huh? We'll take care of that giant for you. You will? Great! Chocobocalina! Welcome, get your traveling products here at Chocolina's Emporium. The beauty's all mine, but the products can be yours, but only... This might be a once-in-a-lifetime choc-amazing opportunity, so don't... Um, hi there. I'm a little overwhelmed and slightly confused, to be honest. So you run a shop?
I'm researching Atlas's power source. I got usual thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.